A lot of people after my past few videos have been asking me what paintball marker I use. So I decided to do this video to tell people about my Hammer 7. This is the marker that I'm talking about, my custom made Hammer 7 sniper rifle. And it's this marker that's allowed me to get the long scope cam footage that people have been seeing in my recent videos. Now this marker is far from normal. Almost every part of this rifle has been custom made or modified in some way and almost has no standard parts apart from the internals. And it's this blend of customization and ingenuity that's allowed me to shoot this cheap but amazing sniper platform. How did I make it? Well, here she is. Um, but this is not how you actually buy it. The marker that I used is called the Hammer 7. And this is what it looks like. Actually, it isn't. This too has also been custom made. This has had a die down mag rod put on it. So I can use the die mags. The actual mags that you use on a Hammer 7 are these long, thin ones. So you can see the difference. So this is how you, this is how it comes when you first buy it, roughly. Uh, and you can pick these up for about sixty pounds. Really cheap markers. And what you have to do to be able to fit it into a rifle stock is obviously you need to remove the back handle part here. And you can use you can use anything really. You can use a saw, a Dremel, anything you want. Um, once you've removed this back handle, that will the ability to be able to drop it in to any stock you want um, which is obviously really nice depending on your taste so with Barbara I chose it's a Hauer stock uh, which is very very similar to the Remington um, I dremeled out the inside and dropped the marker straight in it's bolted straight at the back just from one bolt and the rest of it's held in place by this material here. So a very, very simple, very, very simple design. The trigger um, is basically, ha I have two triggers. I have one trigger which is mounted behind the original stock trigger and it's linked by two arms. So when I pull the first trigger, it pulls the second and fires the mark. The bolt handle, this is called the Pluez bolt. It was made by a guy called Jonathan Pluez in Switzerland. Um, and it's basically a reverse Hammer 7 grip basically. The actual original way of bolting the Hammer 7 is obviously with this front pump, like so. Um, and that obviously allows one of the paintballs to obviously drop into the breech. Um, so what he's done, brilliantly, I'll, I'll say, he's basically custom designed out of aluminium, almost the same bolt but flipped it around so it wraps around the back ASA. So this does not move in the slightest. So you can basically bolt the marker from the back. Very, very clever. Uh, again, very simple design. Uh, I'm sure he's planning to sell these soon, so have a look for the link in the description for that. The scope is just a simple Bushnell scope. Um, nothing really too fancy there. The camera that I use for my scope cam footage is called the Shot Track HD. It's not the best camera. Um, but it captures the shots enough for the moment for me. Um, but that's how I get my five times zoom shots. A lot of people ask me about this as well. This is basically just a scope um, kind of like protector. And all I've done is just cut a little slat in the front. And that basically means that um, it just reduces any risk of any glint or any glare coming off my scope. So when I don't need it, I can just flick it up. When I want to be a bit more concealed, I just flick it down. The barrel that I use on this marker is the 20 inch hammerhead barrel from the Karmatek SAR-12. Now you can't buy that separately, you can only get that barrel if you have a SAR-12. But there are things that you can do um, to kind of give you, the, you know, something very very similar. You can either use uh, the 16 inch bang stick uh, with the M40 suppressor on the end or the actual linkage adapter so you can actually link two hammerhead barrels together. So that will give you the length and the barrel that you needed. 
Now a lot of people ask me how I managed to get such accurate shots with this. Now apart from obviously the marker itself and the barrel, it's using first strike. Uh, now these are finned projectiles, obviously with the fins, these allow the paintball to obviously spin, which stabilizes, which is essentially what a real bullet does. Obviously with the round paintballs, any sort of spin will basically take it off your target. You want to try and keep, if you're using round paintballs, you want to try and keep them as still as possible. You don't want any spin at all. With these, the faster they spin, the more stable they become, the better your accuracy. Um, so that's, this is what I use. Um, very, very clever pieces of a uh, piece of kit. And uh, if you're going to be a paintball sniper, you need these in your life. And that's kind of it. Uh, generally speaking, this probably cost me, you know, probably about £200 mark uh, for the marker, the stock, uh, all the custom parts that come with it. Um, a generally very, very cheap marker. And this is not the most accurate marker, but I'd say that it's definitely a good medium range um, paintball marker. Uh, and as you can see from my other paintball videos, I get some pretty good shots. So if you've got any more questions about this, uh, feel free to put a message in there uh, and put a comments in there uh, in the comments section. Um, follow me on Facebook, send me a message on there, and obviously, of course, follow me on Instagram as well. And, uh, and that's kind of it. Hope that uh, hope that helps a few people. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and of course subscribe to the channel. Uh, big thanks to my two sponsors Next Gen Paintball and Magfed Paintball UK uh, and thanks for you guys for watching. Until the next time, stay hidden. Paintball is statistically a very safe sport to play, but please remember that paintball markers are not toys. Only use them at designated paintball sites and locations and always wear the proper safety equipment. Please use responsibly and be safe. If you like this video, please like it and please leave a comment. Uh, thanks to my... my leave a comment. Um, thanks... Well, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment and, of course, subscribe to the channel. Um, I want to say thank you. Why am I? Why have I got a lift ball of a goddamn feather?